Hi, I'm Carl from Bear Creek Woodworking. I built the shelves behind me that put totes on, and that's really helped organize my garage. It's cleaned up my garage and looks really nice in my garage now. So I'm very happy with that. I'm very, very happy with that. So now I got a similar problem in my shop. My shop area is a little bit cluttered. My nuts and bolts aren't that well organized. So I'm gonna build a system to help organize my nuts and bolts and a few other miscellaneous things in my shop. So I hope that sounds good to you. I hope you're interested in that because that's my next build. Okay, first I took a piece of half inch plywood and I cut that out. That's gonna be the back of my storage unit. Then I took some three quarter inch pine boards and I cut those to length. Those are the shelves and they're also the outer casing part of my storage unit also. So I got everything cut to length, which is really cool. And then the, this is the crude um, outside case of my storage unit. So of course you just take a few screws and put those in. Then of course I take my square and just make sure that it's still in square. Make any adjustments if necessary, but I was lucky and it was nice and square. Then I took my half inch piece of plywood, put it on the back. This gives it a lot of strength now, but you still gotta be a little bit careful to keep it square until you get the screws in. Now the plywood on the back, it's nice and um, firm and it's strong and I can flip it over, no problem. I don't have to worry about it getting out of the square anymore. So then we gotta see if the shelves will fit or not. Did I cut them the right length or not? Hmm, that's a big question, let's see. Oh yeah, it meets my approval. Now it's time for some pocket holes. Just use the Craig jig here. I don't make a whole lot of pocket holes, it seems like, in projects, but sometimes it does come in handy. And this is the most less expensive of the Craig jigs, but it still works really, really good. I'm very happy with it. And as you can see, they came out really nice. That one even went right, right through a knot, no problem whatsoever. The other end of the board turned out fine too. So now it's time to put the shelves inside the case. I use these um, scrap pieces of wood. They're cut at five inches long. And I use those in order to space my shelves so they're all the same as I work up. This makes the work go a lot faster. It's more accurate also. I really like it. And of course, you gotta put my safety glasses on. Safety first always. And just add a few screws and the shelf will be nice and secure. I'm going to work my way up and then now this is the very last shelf. Storage units come along very nicely. Nice even shelving. In order for me to organize my nuts and bolts, these are the type of containers I'm planning to use. I like these because I can take them out of the shelf and take them right to the job site and then put them back when I'm done. So, of course, They just fit right in the shelves really nice and these should work out very well. So when after I put a coat of paint on this, then I'll be able to put all my nuts and bolts in here like this. So pretty cool, huh? Now I made a second storage unit also. This one on top I still use some five-inch shelves, but on the bottom I use some larger spacings. I use like 12 or 14 inches. That's just so I can put some larger containers in there. Worked out pretty well. I got space in the shop, so I figure I might as well use the make a second storage unit, use that space up, make things more organized. Now with the storage units built, it's time to paint them. I'm gonna use the black paint on these. I've got some toolboxes that are also black, so I thought these 
shelves would be, look nice in a black paint scheme. And they look pretty good all painted. Well, as you can see behind me, I have my shop organizer done. I got the containers in there already for my nuts and bolts. And it should turn out really well. I'm very happy with it. Now when I'm working on something, I can just pick up a container and take it over to my work area. And then when I'm done, I can put it right back on the shelf. And it's going to work out great to keep everything organized and very handy and accessible. I had the, the, the containers that are kind of a green, I had those already, and I bought these blue ones. So this is what they look like when they're empty. And some of them are still empty, and I'll add to it as time goes on. But a lot, a lot of them are full of what I had before, and it works out nice. Over on my right side, as you can see, on those shelf spacings are a little bit different. I got some bigger ones towards the bottom. The reason I did that is because I'm going to have plenty of room for my nuts and bolts. I still have some wall space, so this way I can store other items of different size. So it's going to work out good. It's not full yet, but that's good because as time goes on, it'll eventually fill up. So I hope, um, I hope you like watching this build. I hope it inspires some of you to do the same thing in your shop or your garage. And um, until next time, have, have a great day, everybody. Bye. Hi, I'm Carl from Bear Creek Woodworking. <laughs>